I do see some warning signs that are going to uh, affect the development of new startups in 2019. As we're seeing economic uncertainty now, uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely affecting big companies and the stock markets. But let's think about it. That's going to have a cascading effect on smaller companies. How? Because uh, private companies are invested in by venture capitalists. Venture capitalists are going to look at poorer prospects for liquidity through IPO or sale of the company, M&A events, and they're probably now going to be dialing back on investing in new startups. Single most important question an entrepreneur should be asking right now, it's kind of interesting, that has not changed a lot from year to year over the last decade or two. Uh, the context has changed, but the question is still, are you solving a burning need for your target customers? Is it a burning need or is it a meh, okay need? If it's a burning need, it can't be just something that your solution is solving 20, 30, even 40% better or faster than their current way of doing things. It has to be 10 times better. We hear a lot about um, what business sectors are going to be hot. What's hot and what's not. So looking into 2019, here's one that's not really a business sector so much as an enabling technology. I hear a lot from venture capitalists and from entrepreneurs that AI and machine learning are going to be very hot. Why? Because they're, they're now maturing technologies. There are software development kits available from the big tech players. So we as entrepreneurs can come in with domain knowledge on specific sectors, whether it be in the healthcare sector, in some commercial space, in some industrial space, and write specific, very powerful AI-driven or AI-enabled solutions for our customers.